Tino, a new report from Uber shows more than 3,000 sexual assaults were reported in 2018 nationwide. Those assaults, Uber says, happened during rides. And one woman we spoke to say it's happening here locally, too. Working for you, Megan Sinktorum found out what changes Uber is now making to protect riders and the local resources available for survivors. It's a quick and easy way to get around. So people all across the country are turning to rideshare apps like Uber. And while the vast majority of rides are smooth, a new report shows sexual assaults still happen. It is a sad reality that it's a problem everywhere. Allie Austin is a sexual assault survivor advocate at Families First in Indianapolis. She says the new data released by Uber doesn't shock her. When you just look at the situation of someone getting into the car with someone that they have no idea who that person is, what their purpose is. So now Uber is making some safety upgrades. They plan to release a new verification system to make sure riders get in the correct car. They're adding on trip reporting and text to 911. They're also increasing the size of their safety team. Uber is working to create a registry of banned drivers so they can share that information with other rideshare companies. I think what they're doing so far is great. Um, I think they're taking a good look at preventative, obviously, but then if something were to happen, looking at how they would address that, how they would hold that person accountable. She says offering support and programs for survivors is just as important. The victims and the impact that it has on them, they're not just numbers. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6. And working for you are the rideshare safety tips from the University of Michigan. Request your ride from indoors. Do not linger outside. Check your driver's rating. Let a friend or family member know where you are going whenever you use a rideshare service. Confirm the car, license plate, and driver before getting in. And sit in the back seat so you aren't right next to the driver. And if you are ever concerned about certain services or your safety, let us work for you to get answers. Email us at workingforyou at rtv6.com.